What do you want from me? Join me! Michelle! Michelle! I'm right here! Calm down! Oh no, 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 I don't want to go back to sleep! No, please, no! Everything's gonna be alright! Oh, please! Calm down! Take deep breaths! Dr. Flanagan. Morning, Detective. How's she doing? Well, physically, there's nothing wrong. However, she is still suffering from PTSD. Oh, I know all about post-traumatic stress disorder, but it has been a week, and she's the only one that can provide us the answers. Keep it short and avoid going out of her comfort zone. Got it. Right. Thank you so much. So I'll bring in some pizza. Um, Detective, um, does the doctor know you're here? Yes, Mrs. Chadwick, I have his approval. Hi, Michelle. I'm sorry to bother you, but I do need to get your statement. Oh, Dr. Flanagan, don't you think it's too early for Michelle to be talking about this? Well, as I mentioned to the detective, she needs to keep it short and not exceed what Michelle can handle. I'm going to record your statement now. Please state your full name and age. Michelle Chadwick, 22. It's okay, just take your time. Tell me everything you remember. Where do you want me to start? Why don't you start at the beginning of the trip? Okay, well, we had been talking about this camping trip for like a few weeks. And the night before, Sophia and I. Yeah. This list reminds me of when we were at camp and they would tell us to bring stuff. That was my idea. That's where I got the inspiration from. Besides, I'm trying to make it simpler for all the guys. Well, what do you expect? They're jocks. <laughs> one of us happens to be dating one of those jocks. You know what? Travis is the exception, he's got brains amongst other things. Ugh. And you're right, I really shouldn't be judging them. Yeah, especially somebody who's a psychology major. Text from Rachel. I can't make it tonight, see you in the morning. Thanks for the short notice, Rachel. I knew she was gonna do that, so I packed extra. Okay, see you tomorrow. You know, this is you and all your animal lover stuff. Hey, animal lovers can't be animal eaters. Oh, so you're calling me animal hater? Maybe. <laughs> Dude, I'm so excited for this trip. You know, hot springs, the pines, getting all of us together. Yeah, I know. And you got marshmallows. Oh, of course. Lots and lots of marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Nope. More marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> 
Animal, animal freestyle. <laughs> <It's> I got these right. Good morning, sunshine. Thank you, you, Travis. <laughs> Sorry about last night, guys. I had to close up shop. We're just glad you can make it. Did you forget something? There's more in the bath. Well, I think I got everything. <laughs> so, Travis, how many footballers are coming? <laughs> Girl, you did not just call them footballers. If you want to mingle, you need to know the lingo. They're called soccer players. What's up, Shabs? Hey, Nate, how you Hey, doing, guys. Hey, okay, guys, quick intro for Rachel. This is Nate. He's in two of my classes. Yep, that's me. Enchanté. Okay, and this is Brandon and Jessica. Brandon's also on the team, and Jessica is his, his girlfriend. Ah. Ah. Definitely see you guys are a couple. Good, so then there shouldn't be any misunderstandings. <laughs> no, no misunderstanding here, sweetie. So, what is this place we're going to? Be nice, Jess, all right? Oh, sorry. It's okay. I'm holding up. A bunch of Pilates and cardio bar? Psh, I can walk all day. Hey, you all right? Why does everyone think I can't walk this far? Gay, sensitive. You don't do that much I can do you. It shows. <laughs> well, for one, the pack is too heavy. Thought it seemed a little bit big, but I just brought whatever Sophia told me to bring. Uh-huh. Here, let's try it. I think I can handle yours better than you can. Sure. Okay. Yours is so much lighter than mine. <laughs> well, I've done my fair share of hiking camping. I was in the Boy Scouts. You were. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> that's cute. <laughs> Directions point to the right. Let's see, but that doesn't make any sense. Like that road looks like it's going back down the way we came. Just give me the directions. It's 
it's weird I can't get a signal. Oh, I forgot to mention there's no cell service out here. Even I knew that. The lake is supposed to be at a higher elevation. That road leads down. Look, on the soccer field, you might be the team captain, but this is my turf. And I don't need some stupid map, it's obvious. Hey, chill out, dude. This isn't a competition. I know what I'm doing. If Sophia's cousin says to go right, we're going right. Okay, easy, boys. Come on. What Brandon says makes sense. Okay, let's just follow the directions, and if we don't start heading upwards, we'll turn back around. Okay? All right. You heard the boss? Let's go. Sure, you don't mind carrying my stuff. Yo, I got it. All right, you're a lightsaber. Hey, right, no problem. Hey, I see you bought a mini rod. Yeah, of course. She told me there's a great fishing spot. What? Oh, <laughs> that's cool. You know, I always thought there was something different about you. <laughs> Maybe you could show me how to catch a few. Yeah, for sure. Alright guys, let's take a break. Finally. I'm sure it'll start going uphill again soon. How far do you think we've come? We should be about halfway. Hey. I'm sorry. For what? For being short with you earlier. Honey, you're a tough little cookie. I know you can handle it. <laughs> uh, guys? I'm seeing some anger in the clouds. It's not looking good. Yeah, we should probably start pulling out our rain gear. Hey, look over there. Is that a building? Oh, shit. Yeah, that's a house, all right. It's abandoned, though. Let's check it out. Say anything. How convenient. Woo! <laughs> guys, guys, guys. <coughs> well, well, we'll grease this place if we get his new. <laughs>
Ah, there you are. What the hell is that? What? That voodoo stuff. Weird. You okay? Yeah. What you got there? What you got? I, I found it. Well, does it open? It, no. Okay, cool. Finders keepers. Hear what? <laughs> Never mind. Okay, well, we're going to start dinner. Okay, I'll be right there. Okay. Hey, did you find her? Oh yeah, she's coming. Let's just go get dinner started. Choke that blonde bitch. Ooh, I love it when you get angry. I know. Hey. <laughs> we gotta go get dinner started. Sorry, there's just something about a mountain man, you know? Mm. Ugh, okay. Come on. We will finish this later. Oh, we better. No, we won't. I'm just gonna go help Travis out. Nothing like a bunch of busy beavers. You did not just call us beavers. I don't think she meant anything by that. Figure of speech. Oh, I guess I just expected more from a college girl. Okay, you know the beaver's one of the most diligent and hardworking animals on the planet. Right, Jess? Yeah, that's what I meant. Now give me something to do. Here. Do something with those. Hey. You were right about the road. You should have taken the other one. Be cool? Yeah. Cool. We should head back the other way tomorrow. You got it. Who's thirsty? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> My dude. Uh. Hey, Brandon, would you score that bottle? Courtesy of my pops. Mm. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Can you handle this? Try me. Say when? 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 Are you trying to get me drunk? Huh? Mm. <laughs> Have a good time over there with Goldilocks? What? I just saw you completely undressing her with your eyes. I was just pouring some rum. Mm -hmm. Besides, the only one I'm undressing with my eyes is you. Uh -huh. mm? 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 So, you have a thing for Brandon? What? No way. I just like pushing Jessica's buttons. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, pushing buttons. Two new friends. Yeah. Yeah. New friends. Mm. 
So do you still have any energy left over? Oh, I think I am wide awake. <laughs> oh, well then let's see what you got. Oh. <laughs> Who's on point tonight? Thank you. Teamwork. Is she doing that for our benefit? Probably. That's her Jess. Hey, how about some ghost stories or something? Oh, I love scary stories. Do you know any? Oh, no. No, 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 I get scared too easily. Listen to mommy's date very much. <laughs> I'm a fucking wuss. Alright, well, I know one. Alright, well, let me know when you're done. Okay, go on, go on. Just stop keeping us in suspense. Alright. There once was this very sexy girl. Okay, why does she have to be sexy? I mean, can't she be intelligent or plain? Who's telling the story? You or me. Okay, go on, tell your story. Okay. So, this intelligent and kind of plain looking girl, Nina, started partying way too much. <laughs> All right, you made your point. Just tell your story how you want it. All right. This hot chick named Nina started partying way too much. Her grades were slipping, so her parents grounded her. Now, when her grades improved, they gave her a second chance, but with an early curfew. Now, as you can guess, on her first night out, Nina was having such a good time that she didn't make it back on time. And when she finally did get home, she found all the lights out. She tried the front door, it wasn't locked. So instead of just going on inside, she went around back and climbed the old oak tree beneath her bedroom window as she had done so many times before. The next morning, Nina wakes up early. It was quiet. So she thought maybe her folks went into town without waking her. When she reaches the bottom of the stairs, she sees blood everywhere. She runs in the living room to find her parents' mangled bodies. She screams when she sees, written on the walls in their blood, the words, Lucky you didn't open the door. Ah! <laughs> Asshole, you're trying to give me a heart attack? Look, I'm sorry. I've heard the story before, and I thought it would be funny. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's your problem. You don't think. At least not with your head. Whoa. Coming back to bed? Mmm, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, everyone. Night. Good night guys. See ya. Well, good night. <clears throat> night. Good night, 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 guys. Good night, y'all. Hey, it's okay if you guys want the other bedroom. Oh, it's all right. We can just stay with you. One big slumber party. There's my personal heater.
This is her weapon. Why do you hurt these poor children of Christ? What harm have they done unto you? I do not hurt them. Abigail Barker, you are charged with sundry acts of witchcraft committed unto the bodies of Mercy Lewis and Putnam and others. I am innocent. I know nothing of it. I, I have done no witchcraft. You are charged with tempting them to sign the devil's book. That said book. Tis false, I tell thee. I have done no wrong. She bears the mark of Satan himself. It's over her heart. Who do you serve? I serve no one. And you serve not our Lord. What contract have you signed with Satan? You put words in my mouth. I have made no contract. I never saw him in my life. And Putnam saith that the devil is her god, not I. Have you not in your heart to tell the truth? I do tell the truth. I never hurt these persons. I am no witch. Have you not given consent that some evil spirit should do this in your likeness? No. I am innocent. All accusations against me are false. Abigail Barker, I find you guilty of being a witch, and I hear order to proceed with your execution. You are a liar. I am no more a witch than you are a wizard. Take her away! You will pay for this! What's wrong? Whoa. Hey, it was just a little quake. Is she okay? Come here, sweetheart. I'm shaking up. Sweetheart, it was just a little earthquake. that her eyes had changed. Did anyone else notice the change taking place? I don't know. It's okay, just take your time. I don't know, I, I can't remember. This has got to stop right now. Please, girl, no. no. I'm going to give you something to relax. No, no, I don't want to go back to sleep, please. Doctor, please, it is very pressing that we finish her statement. I understand, but right now, I cannot allow you to continue. All right, I'll pick this up later. Mrs. Chadwick. Do you realize how difficult this is for all of us? I understand that, and I respect it. But it's very difficult for the other parents involved as well. I'll check back later. Oh, 
Damn it. Where's my grandma? Uh, she left. So, how are you feeling? Better. I don't want to sleep anymore. You know, there's a lot of people that want to hear your side of the story. I know. It's just hard. I'm not trying to keep anything from you. That's good. I just want to find out what happened to your friends. You ready to continue our talk? Okay. All right. So, what happened next? Well, we were sleeping. And then in the morning... Guys, there's, there's no sign of her out there. Guys, I found her hair with blood all over it. You think somebody kidnapped her? Why would they only take her? I don't know, but we've searched this whole house. Guys, I'm really scared. Come on, guys. This is Sophia we're talking about. She had to leave on her own accord. But why didn't she tell me? And where did all that blood come from? That time of the month? Don't mess around. Okay, guys, listen up. We're all going to split into groups, and we're going to search for her in different directions. It's the fastest way to find her. I'll head back down the trail. I'll go with Brandon. All right, good. Uh, then Michelle and I can search the trail to the east, and uh, maybe Nate and Rachel can search to the west. Well, if we can't get any signal, how are we supposed to get in touch with each other? And when you guys do find her, just have one person stay with her and the other person head back. Now, no matter what, we're all going to meet right back here in one hour, all right? One hour. Let's go. Sight of her. I, I don't get it. She's disappeared without a trace. I mean, I don't understand where she could have gone. Let's keep looking for her. Hey, aren't we at the crossroads? Yeah. Sophia! Do you feel that? Feel what? It feels like, like someone's watching us. No, you're imagining things. Did you hear that? Yeah. I think it came from over here. Come on. Shit! Brandon! Ugh. Well, I didn't expect that. Are you okay? I'm okay. What? Oh, Christ.
Is that Sophia? I think so. Sophia! Sophia! Sophia, what's come over you? Sophia. No, it's me. Nate. Yo, her hands are like ice. She. I don't know. There's something wrong with her, okay? She's acting very strange. Yeah, she's lost her mind. We caught her digging a hole with her bare hands. Brandon, don't say that. I mean, she's probably delusional from the flu or something. First, she finds a necklace, then her eyes turn all weird. Now she digs this book out of a hole. I mean, she's got to be a little crazy. I, mean, I can't even read a word in this book. It's English. I know that, you bimbo. Fuck you, bitch. Hey, guys, chill out. I meant it's old English. And I still can't read it. Just give it here. This, this looks like some kind of Shakespearean writing stuff or something. It, it looks like spells. You guys, it does not matter what it says in that book right now. It's Sophia's condition we should be worried about. We need to take her to the hospital. No. It wouldn't be safe to try and make it down now. Let's just give her the night to rest and we can head out first thing tomorrow morning. I'm with you, bro. Especially with all this drama going on. You know, Brandon, you've always had a way with your words. You're an asshole. Sophie's losing her mind. Something is wrong with her. Hey. Don't keep me waiting too long, right? You blondie? If you're trying to scare me, it's not working. Where are you going? Come back here, you 
bitch. Michelle, what are you doing in here? Oh, I heard footsteps. Oh, I didn't mean to startle you. I just came back for my recorder. No, I'm glad that you did because I don't want to keep this in anymore. I want to tell you everything. Okay. Come on, let's go. Just start from the beginning and tell me everything that you want to tell me, all right? <laughs> I need assistance in Paige Dr. Flanagan. Detective, you need to move. <laughs> Calm down. I'm going to give you some air. I'll be back. What's going on? It's, it's Jessica. She, she never came back to bed last night. And I, she's got to be around here somewhere. No, look, I checked. Yo, guys, what's up, man? Huh? Jessica's missing. you got to be kidding me. What? Sophia's gone, too. Oh. God, what the hell's going on? We're fucking cursed. All right, everybody, guys, just calm down. We just think this through. All right, look, you can stay if you want. I'm not coming back here without oh, Jessica. Brandon! Dude. Okay, guys, guys, let's just split up and look for her again, okay? Split up? Dude. Jessica! 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 Sophia! Jessica! 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 Where are you? Come out! Sophia! Jessica! Oh, where the hell? Go there. Look, right now we just need to play Jessica and Sophia. Look, come on.
You're not Sophia. Who are you? Abigail Barker. Don't come any closer, all right? I mean it. What'd you do to Jessica? She made a good sacrifice. This guy we knew. I don't know, man. There's got to be more than one killer. You guys, what are we going to do? We can't leave him here. Let's just take him back to the house. So unreal. Any ideas? No. Let's just get the hell out of here. I don't know about you, but I, I really want to get out of here. I just can't believe this is happening. Uh, nobody goes anywhere without somebody with them. I'm going to get out of here now. I'm with Rachel and getting the hell out of here. We will as soon as it's safe. We'd never make it back before nightfall. Yeah, Travis is right. We really should all stay together. There's strength in numbers. Make sure the rest of this house is secured. Yeah, that's a good idea. Windows closed. Travis, I'm so scared. Hey. I'm here for you, babe. I won't let anything happen to you. Oh, hey. Um, how y'all doing? The bedroom is secure. Well, does that mean that the house is safe now? As much as we can make it. something we could do about Sophia and Jessica. We need to get help. To have a real search party out here looking for them. I hope they're okay. 
We just need to stay safe tonight. I wonder what's in this book. I just want to know why the hell she dug it up in the first place. There's like spells and chants. Like I found one for like protection. Yo, close that book. It's creeping me out. Wait till I get back so that we can actually- Where are you going? Through the whole... To get warmer sweats? I can't be warm. <laughs> That's exactly what I was afraid of. What? No, I'm being serious. They, the group said we have to stick together. Yeah. I'm gonna go get those. I'll be right back. Awesome. Wait, you guys, you guys listen to this. Thrice around the circle bound, all evil sinks into the ground. By light of day and darkness night, I am protected by thee might, goddess of the moon and stars. I call to thee, which tis me right, protect me from all evil's might. <laughs> Protected me from all evil's harm. Protect me from all evil's might. Protect me from all evil's harm. Hey. You right? Yeah. Sounds like a weird nursery rhyme. Why don't you put that away and come here? I wouldn't be reading those if I were you. I don't know what they are. Rachel? Rachel? Hey guys, come here. Let's just get off the trail and find cover, okay? Come on. Okay. Uh. Nate, Nate, I, I seriously, I can't go on. Okay, look, just relax, okay? I don't know what the hell that was, but that was not Sophia. Yeah, look, she looks like she's possessed. I don't know what is wrong with her. Oh, crap, look, we just need to get out of here as quick as possible, period.
my knee hurts so bad. Yeah, I just, I, you should just go. No, I'm not leaving you here. Look, we stay here for the night and leave at daylight. You're strong, I know you. Michelle, we gotta move. I know. My knee's feeling just a little bit better. It still hurts? Yeah. Try this. Okay. I think this will work. Does it work? Yeah. What are we gonna tell their moms? Trap this mom. I mean, look, let's not concentrate on that right now. Let's just concentrate on getting out of here. I'm sorry. Hey, it's all right. You're strong. Come on, Take one step at a time, okay? Hey. Look, we're our friend, Sophia. We were. You listen to me. You stay away from me. You stay away! That doesn't work. <laughs> Sophia, listen to me. Let me help you. Michelle, oh, come on, come on. Please help me. Sophia, what can I do? Give me my book! And if I don't? You don't know what you're doing. You think you can negotiate? Once you're dead, the book is mine. Abigail, let Sophia go! Too late now! She's gone! You crazy bitch! No! <laughs> Hey, leave her alone. Hey! Hey, you! And I don't remember anything after that. Well, 
Michelle, I think that clears it up. The hunter corroborated your story, however. We have yet to confirm the perpetrator's identity. Detective, it's Sophia. Abigail possessed her. Why can't you believe me? Right, calm down, calm down. You need to get some rest, all right? I will have a transcript made of this recording and we'll go from there, all right? I promise. Did you guys find Jessica? We did. <clears throat> Is she? I'm afraid so. Michelle? Time for your meds? Afternoon, Detective Henderson. Judy. <laughs> Are you done? Actually, we're done. Take care, Michelle. I'll be in touch soon, all right? We'll talk. Detective, you're not gonna find Sophia. Not unless she wants you to. Be in touch. Detective Henderson. Howard, how are you? Fascinating person, this Abigail Barker. She was a real person then? Oh yeah, absolutely. She was born in 1670. What else can you tell me? Well, this Abigail Barker was put on trial in 1692 and she was found guilty of practicing acts of witchcraft by the local magistrate. She was then tortured, which was standard practice of the time, and then eventually executed. Really? Okay, wait a minute. How easy would it be for my witness to have access to that information? Well, anyone could research it, but I suppose why would be my question. And then, how would they even find this book in the first place? Which, by the way, happens to be a compilation of spells and incantations. Well, to tell you the truth, I was hoping you were going to tell me that Abigail Barker was just a bunch of folklore and that book a bunch of nonsense. Now I can get back to work and get that book carbon dated. What else do you got for me? Well, I don't know if this is relevant at all, but I also found some documentation of accusations against witches using amulets to transform themselves into animals and even powerful creatures, supposedly. You've got to be kidding me. No, it was actually documented multiple times during the witch trials. Well, that's about all I have for now, but uh, keep me posted on what happens, okay? Most definitely. Thank you. All right. Goodbye. I don't understand. You're no different than they were. It seems the professor has been telling tall tales to Detective Henderson. People love tall tales, wouldn't you say? 
I suppose. When I was younger, I used art and spells to connect with nature. I only meant good back then. The false people lied and labeled me a witch. They did unspeakable things to me. And I know you know the rest. Why are they going to destroy me? Because I choose darkness. My ally, and I've just been waiting to find someone to give me my vessel. The Book of Spells. Ah, you're a smart man, Professor. So I'm sure you understand. But until I find my book, I'm gonna need a little blood sacrifice here and there. <laughs> Dr. Flanagan said that I could go home in a day or two. Don't you think it's a, a bit too soon? Well, why do you say that, Grandma? Well, you're, you're still having episodes. The neighbors are talking, huh? You know I don't care about that. So then why do you have a problem with me coming home? I don't. How's Travis's mom doing? Alice. Well as can be expected, you know. They all blame me, huh? Honey, until this thing gets all sorted out, people are gonna talk, they're gonna come to their own conclusions. Yeah, well, I'm a victim in this too, Grandma. I know you are, sweetheart. You know, uh, Sophia's parents have, have put up a reward for her safe return. She's not coming home. She's dead. I mean, how many times do I have to keep telling people this? Sophia is not Sophia anymore. Sophia killed Travis. She killed all of my friends, Grandma. Oh, honey. That's why I don't want you to be in such a hurry to come home. Grandma, I don't want to stay in this fucking hospital anymore. It's like a fucking prison in here. I miss all of my friends' funeral. Lieutenant, what's up? Looks like Miles had a chance to call 911 before he died, so approximate time of death, 9, 10 p.m. He's got a single knife wound to the chest. He was also stabbed in the hands. There's some claw marks on the back of his neck. God. How did they get in? No sign of a break-in. We had to pick the front lock to gain access. Locked from the inside. 
What's this? He wrote a name with his blood, but don't touch anything. Forensics is on the way. Okay, that's odd because Miles is doing some research for me on an Abigail Barker. So we have a suspect? No, not exactly. The Abigail Barker we're talking about died in 1692. I guess that was too easy. Hey, what about that 911 call? He only asked for an ambulance. The line went silent after that. Okay, I'm gonna to wanna to get a copy of that call. I'll get you a copy and put it in the folder. Hey, how's that Shadwick case coming? Slowly, we're dealing with a very fragile victim. Victim? I thought she was a suspect. Another girl went missing. And right now, she's the only survivor. Physically, you're an excellent kid. Any pain? Nope. How about the nightmares? Oh yeah, those are those haven't come around in a while. Ready to go home? Sure. <laughs> okay, well I'm gonna change your medication a little bit, and if you have another day without any incidents, you can go home. Sounds good to me. Uh, lower her dosage to 25 milligrams, and let's keep an eye on her. What about her nighttime pills? Just give me a call in the afternoon, and we'll make a decision then. Okay. Um, Dr. Flanagan, am I going to have to take these pills once I go home? Well, with this medication, you can't quit cold turkey. We have to decrease your dosage gradually. I want you to contact your family physician in the next two days. Um, uh, we'll send you home with some instructions and my notes to your doctor. Okay, because I'm ready to go. Yeah, I bet you are. <laughs> what do you got for me? I got nothing. I've dusted head to toe several times. I can't even find a partial print. What about these claw marks here? Any idea where they would have come from? They appear to have been made by talons. However, that's not what killed him. He died from a single knife wound to the chest. What about under the fingernails? Clean. Whatever it was, poor guy didn't have a chance. Hey there. Hi, Beth. I'm ready to go home now. <laughs> I bet. I should hopefully have your paperwork done within an hour. You done with this? Oh yeah, thank you. Let me know if there's anything else you need in the meantime. I will. Why don't we order some pizza? Sounds great. Okay.
Excuse me, can I help you? Where is she? Excuse me? That whore. You need to leave right now. I don't think you heard me. I said, where is that bitch of a whore? You need to leave. Where? Where is she? Detective, Mrs. Chadwick, um, what can I do for you? Is Michelle home? Uh, yes. Um, what's going on? May I come in? I need to speak with you both. Sure. Wait here. Honey, it's the detective. Michelle, I'm going to get right to the point. There's been a tragedy at the hospital. What happened? This afternoon, Dr. Flanagan, his main nurse, and a security guard were killed. Oh my god! Oh, it's Abigail! Well, strangely enough, several witnesses have confirmed that the perpetrator's identity does fit the description of Sophia, with the exception of her eyes. No, it's Abigail! I told you she's I've got, coming! I've got two officers guarding your house, and in the morning they will take you down to the station to sign your statement. Oh, it's Abigail! I told you she's coming! So you do think we're in danger? I'm not taking any chances. Oh. I've got two officers guarding the perimeter of your home, and I'm not leaving until I know it's secure. something before you leave? Oh no, I'm just gonna get some coffee. Okay. Oh, Grandma, they're here. So I'll see you later. Hey, uh, call me if you're gonna be late. Okay. Your ride is here. Are you all right, miss? Yeah. Just a little chest pain. Okay, ready to go? Yeah, let's do this. Check out. Yeah, let's use this room. Oh, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. What's up? Stevenson found something. What does he have? I'm not sure, but it sounded extremely important. Well, I was just about to have Michelle review her statement. Oh, I'm getting started for you. You sure? Yeah, I've got some time. Uh, Michelle, this is Lieutenant Paxton. He's going to review your statement with you. When you read it, make sure that you look over everything, okay? All right, I'll be right back. Okay, young lady, shall we? Have a seat. There you go. Well, yeah, Henderson can be pretty thorough. Looks like you got a little reading to do. You need something to drink? No, thank you. Okay, go ahead and make any corrections you need, and I will be right back. I have something you'll want to see. Take a look. What is it? 
It's the tip of the blade. Is it gold? No. It's either a bronze or a copper blend. Really? I'll send it to a metallurgist to confirm. Any idea? It's very old. I don't have the equipment to date it properly. How are you doing? I just finished. Anything you'd like to change? No, everything seems about right. So this is not an interrogation. Just a couple things I'd like to confirm. Is this the knife you said Brandon had in his possession? Yes. What about this book? Okay. I just wanted to make sure everything is still <laughs> I couldn't have killed you if you were protected. The book is mine. Sure. What's your name? Abigail. 